start the last press conference of the season with head coach Adam Rida and Remy Bertolen. First, thoughts of head coach, then Remy, and then time for questions. Okay. When you want, coach. Well, it was a kind of a weird night. Uh, I hadn't been to practice all week, uh, and I was clear to come to the game yesterday, really. Um, it was uh, fun to see the guys, I'm telling you that. I never knew I could miss so many guys uh, like I did. Uh, it's pretty damn lonely without them. I got a gorgeous wife, but <laughs> you can't yell and scream and jump up and down and get too excited. Um, it's been an exciting year. Um, I think we, uh, we've improved with each week uh, and trying to find a way to scrap and scrape and, and get a win. We got three wins this year, and I think we should have probably had three more. Some history. Uh, I thought it was a hell of a game tonight. Again, uh, the Dragons find a way to keep fighting, keep scrapping, and trying to make a play here and there to just keep us in the game. And, and we're pretty much in the game. Uh, they're a very good football team. That's why they're number one in the league. And uh, we played them twice uh, down to the wire. I thought this game was better than the last game we played against them. But. Uh, I don't like missing games. Uh, I've been in the business for 50 some years and uh, last week was the first game I ever missed. So uh, I feel bad for the guys. Uh, not that I would won the game for them, but I'd like to have been there for moral support anyway. It was a damn close game, a couple turnovers. But getting back to this game, it was a fun game to watch. Uh, uh, our offense did some crazy stuff. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, so I think that uh, if you're a spectator, you can kind of enjoy what they were trying to do. But like I said, the other team is a damn good football team. We, uh, we, uh, we, we may not be the biggest team, for sure as hell not the fastest team, but I guarantee your ass we will fight you down to the end. You know, it's like I said, to the guys, don't worry about the score. Just keep fighting and hang in there. We'll find a way to win. Ready? Well, where, where to start? Um, it's been a hell of a year. Like, uh, this is a new project um, in Spain. It's pretty, I mean, we did pretty good, I think, like, uh, the, the management, wise, management, management wise and, like, um, coaching staff and, and the players. Like, you know, like, we, we hit some lows, like, we had, like, COVID here like went crazy. We had like coaching staff issues and everything, but like we always stick together and it was like hell over here, you know, like I enjoy every minute of that and even tonight, even if we lost it lost the game, I enjoyed it like so much. And you know, like for this game we knew pretty much that our chances for the playoff uh, was zero, so it didn't sh like almost zero. It didn't change like anything for us because like we always been the underdog, like from the beginning. Like nobody gave us respect. We just like we are what we need, and we just stick with that. So 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 we show up and we just fight. We we fought pretty well. Defense did amazing against them because like they are like you know like number one in offense I think in the league. And offensively, like you know like it's tough for us, but like we did also pretty good. And I think that. We are way better than the record we're showing, and we are that close, that close to be the the top the top in the league. So that's encouraging, you know. That's the first year. That's very encouraging. We we have a hell of a, a head office. We have a hell of coaching staff. We have hell of players here in uh, in Spain. So that's encouraging. And I hope that it's just going to to improve, and it will improve. I think. Perfect. The the most amazing thing is that. Really, we're brand new, and the other teams, some of them have been together for seven years, coaching staff, players, I mean, some of these teams have grown men on there, you know, we have 18 year olds, 19 year olds, 20 years old, some of them don't know any better, but they just keep in there and keep fighting, I mean, we were playing with a couple of 18 year olds again, you know, 
offense on the left tackle and uh, 13, he's not very old. Yeah. Yeah. Jordy's not very old. Jordy is like 19. Yeah. Yeah. is 19. So, you know, the last time we were in Germany, we played Frankfurt and they came out of the locker room after the game and went, man, these guys have been shaving for at least 25 years. <laughs> you know, our guy's just starting to shave. You know? So that's a lot of encouragement uh, that way. As far as the coaching staff is concerned, we uh, ended up with a damn good staff. We started with a good staff, and for whatever reason, guys got opportunities to leave uh, to get a full-time job in the university, so they left. But we kept hanging in there, and we kept bringing in some pretty damn good guys. Like Coach Woods is a hell of a coach. I coached against him in Italy, and he's always had a great team with uh, Milan. And uh, Ra Raul, our linebacker coach, came from Madrid. He did a fantastic job with our guys. They had a two-man coaching staff on defense. On offense, we had our Spanish coach who stepped up. Uh, and uh, I thought Patrick uh, uh, did a hell of a job. We got the young, uh, called Young Legs and Young Mind. And, and he's got a lot of balls in play calling. So uh, it's fun. And my, my whole thing about offense is uh, I usually involved in offense is to get the ball to the playmakers. And four and five are our playmakers. Our quarterback's the playmaker. You know, so, and the other guys are just role players, you know, and they did a hell of a job. Sometimes it's great to be the best supporting actress or actor than it is to be the star. Um, our quarterback played under a lot of duress throughout the whole year, and he's still walking and talking and, you know, ready to play another game. I'm really proud. Needless to say, I'm pretty proud. Of you guys. I uh, feel very honored to have been their coach, and the dedication that they had to each other and to the team and to the effort. I'm not saying we never had any adversity. We had tons of adversity. Every day we had something going weird inside of us. But like life, you face adversity, you get stronger. You know what doesn't kill you, you know, makes you stronger. So our guys kept bouncing back, kept bouncing back. You know, it's easy to give up when things aren't going your way, and they never did. And uh, I really, really thank them for that. I really appreciate them, actually. Okay, questions? Yeah, so for Coach right. Alan Rita, uh, the Barcelona Dragon story is like the Cinderella story. You began 0-4, you start winning, it was a brand new team, you almost make the playoffs. Um, did the expectations you have at the beginning of the season matched with the reality of ending the season like this, improving that way, and, and almost beating uh, the best team in the league? This is my fourth team, I feel. Um, so uh, my expectations are always high. It's just that this one here is like from scratch. You know, we didn't know the players. Uh, there's no such thing as free agency. I knew um, Remy here from when he played at McGill. And I just remember this one play that he made, and I said, this guy's got to be on my team. And he did a layout catch, stretched right out, horizontally and made the catch off his fingertips. You know, and, and so I got a little background with him because I was in Canada when he was playing. So, know anything else about anybody else. It was just, everything was brand new, so they had to get to know me, and I, I try to keep myself open to them, and try to be as sincere and honest as I could about every situation, and just really encourage them to uh, do the right things, to uh, help each other out. Uh, in Hawaii, we say Ohana. Ohana means family. And, uh, you know, we're all going to go our separate ways. This team will never be together again. Just think about that. You know, we, uh, that's the thing about professional sports, you know, the same team never stays together. And, uh, you know, there'll be some improvements, and uh, there'll be some not so good decisions, some great decisions. You know, it's just the nature of the game. Uh, this is probably the most the proudest I've been of any team that I've ever rebuilt or built. And it's the 
a different category than the other categories that we have. Alepo? I do want to speak about uh, feelings. This is, uh, I'm very sad because this season has ended, I'm very sad. Uh, how do you feel after this first season in Barcelona Dragons? Remy and Coach Rita. Well, I came in excited. I'm going home excited. You know, I, uh, what makes me is the players. That's what makes me tick. Uh, I love my players. I go to war. And, uh, if anybody's ever, ever, ever played for me, they'll tell you that. Uh, by no means I'm a player coach. I can get on anybody's ass as hard as anybody. But I think the more you love them, the more you can coach them hard. And uh, these guys were easy to love because they just kept coming back. They just kept fighting. You know? So very emotional uh, night. Uh, you know, every win and every loss have been very super emotional because you know, we've invested so much in each other. Yeah. We love these players. <laughs> I know, I know. I tell you what, we, we, our fans are, we play for them. You know, we play for each other. It's not like a home game in Barcelona or in Rios, I guess. But uh, proud to be a Dragon, part of, to be part of a, the start of it. And I hope this league goes like gangbusters. Because I think it's. Uh, the timing is pretty good, except for the COVID part. Uh, there's, there's a big need for uh, football programs like this, you know, where it's uh, European, international uh, players from every country can play for either other countries, and it's kind of cool. Actually, we got a few French people playing in freaking all of this whole league. You'd think it would be all German, but I think it's mostly French. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, feeling, feeling, um, well, I can't lie that pretty sad, man, because it's, you know, like, first we don't make the playoffs, so football is over, but even more sad because, like, um, we did not, like, leave this place, you know, like we've been here like every day for the last four or five months, something like that. And like we really like we started from scratch, you know, and now we really are like a a, a family. Like like I met some dudes here, you know, that, that I know I'm gonna like stick around for all my life. I hope so. So so it's pretty tough, pretty tough, but that's that's life and that's football, that's reality and that's exciting because we, I hope that like this project is going to like go forward and the young dudes are coming back and they're going to do like great in their life, great on the field. So sad and happy at the same time, you know, like, happy for what we accomplished and sad of like just leaving this place and leaving football like this season. More question? What? Quite truthfully, I'm depressed. <laughs> 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 not, you know, not depressed in a bad way, just that it's ended. You know, it didn't end the way we wanted to. Uh, it didn't start the way we wanted to, but there's a lot of good shit that happened in between, you know, yeah. and, uh, between the start and the end. Um, our guys know what it takes now. You know, they, uh, they know that uh, hard work pays off, and it doesn't matter how big you are, or how strong you are, how slow you are, how fast you are. It's like I tell, tell everybody, we're small and we're slow, but we fight like a son of a bitch, you know? And uh, that's what I'm most proud about these guys. They'll, they'll win in life. And that's very, very important because football it ends, okay? But your work ethic and the desire to overcome adversity, to face it, face up, and not uh, turn your back to it, and to rise above everything that and it's like I said, one door closes, another one opens. Hang in there. There is light. It's going to keep tight. Sí, pel, pel Remy, um, que si la jugada que li ha fet la passada al Zac, eh, que ha estat a punt de ser touchdown, que si l'havien ensejat el, els entrenos i que si sabia, sabia que l'anava a fer al, al, al partit, 
I bueno, que li ha semblat la d'allò. I si sap, si pensa que l'any que ve tornarà a estar aquí a l'equip. If you practice with Zach the play that you almost get the touchdown with an incredible pass of him, and then in the second one, if you believe that you're going to stay two, then yeah, next year. So first, first question, yeah, we, we, we prepared this, this play for Zach to score, and unfortunately it didn't work. It was very close. So close. But you know, like we just trying, you know, like to make things like that did a great job, like trying to bring new plays, like like a double pass like this. Uh, yeah, like just that. I think that was a great call. I think we were close, like to to complete it and to score it. But that's that's okay. We we scored just after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I'm pretty happy with the result anyway. And if I'm coming back, like you know, it's. It's very soon to, to take a decision right now. Like obviously, like I'm 27. I love football. I've been playing football like pretty much all my life, like since I'm like 12, something like that. And I, I like I love this place. You know, like um, I think Bart did a great job. Uh, I think this program is like one of the best in ELF, and I think that ELF is going to 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 improve in a lot of ways. And I would like to come back, but. Uh, you know, like sometimes there is life and reality. You have to make choice, and you have not to take too 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 quick decisions. So I'm just going to for now rest for a few weeks, and we'll see after. Like, but uh, yeah, definitely I would like to come back. But we'll see. Well, it's kind of weird because <laughs> I've never been in a league where everybody's a free agent at the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, if I was a general manager, I'd go crazy. Everybody's a free agent. <laughs> How much money do I have? You know? So, I, and I've been a general manager where I had some money, and uh, you know, but uh, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity. Uh, this league is for a lot of players and coaches. There's a lot of good coaches in Europe, so you know, all over the world, really, just lots of good football players. And there's lots of good coaches, so. Another league won't hurt any 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 pro football league. You know, so I mean, I'm hoping next year we have 12 teams. You know, so any more questions? Really, if, if you can pass, you can pump. The next year you <laughs> you take you you do uh, any tackle. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, I'm going to leave that to uh, to Lau. He's, he's way much better than me at that, you know. Like, uh, yeah. Anyway, just like you know, like, I've been using you know, playing Europe to play everywhere since I'm a kid. So, so I've tried to up the team the all the way I can. But he's also I'm, our best kicker. How? <laughs> yeah. At that point Punter. in my life, I was. But he can punt. He can kick. He can freaking. Uh, Dance a little bit, mm, yeah. yeah, a little yeah. bit, just you know, a little bit. But he's <laughs> a, a wonderful athlete. Um, you know, he's one of those uh, guys you gotta have on your team because if uh, for a while there we didn't have a quarterback. If Zach went down, we were in deep shit, right? So he was our backup quarterback, and uh, I mean, we played Nico something like that. But then he got hurt, and so then we had no quarterback. I didn't see the pass that he threw, but I guarantee you it wasn't a bad pass, it was a bad drop. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a tough, it was not the, the best spiral I threw in my life. But yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it. Exactly what he deserved then. Yeah. <laughs> he done, I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Anything else? Okay. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. Thank you.